It's me, Ari Dossett. Quick message. War is never about achieving a world while end. It's about preserving a claim of the public. And the claim has nothing to do with borders, national security, um, or the integrity of a country, or whatever. It always has to do with the escapism of the masses. The public wants to escape, and because they can't always escape, they accumulate unrest. And now, to preserve the claims they don't want to let go of, those same claims that generate unrest in the community, they now look for an outlet, an organized outlet for that unrest. And war is the organized outlet in which people release all their unrest. Things they naturally shouldn't be able to get away with, though to the fact it's war, they're able to get away with it or they're able to express it more openly. So, war is never about winning because nobody wins in war, nobody. The only war that's worth fighting is the war you've prevented. So you're not fighting. Or as a lot of martial artists say, the best fight is a fight you prevented, but just walking away. The only war that's worthwhile is the war you've prevented by either by passing it or by exhausting the attackers so eventually they crash. There are times you're under fierce attack and you have to do something about it. I'm not naive over here. In that case, you trigger the attacking forces to exhaust themselves and collapse on themselves. This is what you do. The moment it comes so far that you actually have to do the fighting for your survival or to prevent harm, it's too late. Nobody wins with war. Remember that. So the one that loses the least is considered the winner. But are they really winners? I mean, if a country is attacked and they send a military to defend the country and the military wins the conflict from the other military, on both sides you have young men who died, their mothers who have to uh, grieve now because sons are gone, their children missing their father now, wives uh, without husbands. And some of the men are alive but they have PTSD haunting them for life. It's going to cost the community a lot to deal, to deal with. You have men missing body parts, so they're crippled for life. So they have to face that and they have to face it too. So is it really worth it? No. Nobody wins with war. So please unlearn war and learn to be constructive in life. Was well, it for now. Keep it in Christ. Keep it in Christ and be at peace.